Hello, everyone. Welcome to my class. Uh, my name is Sho. Today, I'm going to show you how I paint the fence. The fence painting is very interesting uh, because it's not just a painting like uh, uh, you put on the wall, you see it. This one, actually, you can just hold it in hand and uh, carry it everywhere. It's very easy to carry and it's beautiful. And you can look at everywhere very interesting so in this lesson i'm going to show you the whole process how i do the fan painting um, today i'm going to uh, the subject is i'm going to paint uh, a painting like this this is um this is the sketch uh, sketch of the fan uh, see this is a paper and uh, there in this golden line is a shape of the of the fan so um i like to do a sketch like this so um later on i just uh, open the fan here and uh, i will just uh, uh basically copy this one onto here so i won't uh, uh, make any mistake on my fans uh, as you know, Chinese brush printing, you can't and erase it. It's just a one-time deal. So it's better you do a sketch before you do the uh, the real thing, right? Uh, you don't want to waste a, a fan. Uh, after I did this, I'm going to put this on the fan. I will show you, of course, and the, the finished project. Uh, I want to introduce a little bit uh, about this painting. And this painting is basically uh, two birds. Um, in Chinese, this bird is called the Huang Li Niao. In Chinese, in English, I just checked. It's called. Uh, it's on the wiki. This one website is the wiki, Wikipedia. It's called the Oriolos. Oriolos. Uh, so this is the one. This is the bird here this is the bird i'm painting and uh, later on i will show you the picture ins inspired me uh, like i kind of remember all the birds uh, exactly so a lot of time if the object is complicated i will uh, have a look on the website like their picture, see the, what they look like. So this bird is called Aureolos. Um, it's where it's kind of a very common subject in Chinese painting because you especially the pair, right? Two pair means two birds together. It's a pair. Uh, usually they are symbol. Uh, they are symbolized uh, the spring, the life, the beautiful thing. It's a very lucky sign, especially I put some background like lucky bamboo. Actually, it's not a lucky bamboo, but this is bamboo symbol like lucky. They have all sorts of good meaning and also the stone. It have all sorts of good, good, good meaning. It's a, and I feel like holding in hand, it's a beautiful, it's lucky, it's good feng shui. Um, it's just, it's just uh, perfect. So on the Wikipedia, you can see uh, you can see there are so many type of Oreos. Sorry, is that called Oreos? Oreo, Oreolos. Yes, Oreolos. Uh, so you can see brown Oreolos, ducky brown Oreolos, and this is the district like. There are so many types of realos in the the type I'm painting, I believe is this one. It's Russia golden orelos. So this one is Europe and Western Asia. Uh, so let's look the picture. See this is the one very similar unless it's this one. Oh, this two golden aurelios just uh, 
Yeah, this is one. This is this is the one I'm doing. I believe it's this one because there are some、uh, white, yellow, yellow spot on the hair, on the feather. You can see here this part. They have a dark eye here, and the feather here have some yellow spot. I think this is the this is only difference. This one, you can see there's not much、uh, yellow stuff. Yellow color on the feather, so I believe it's this one. This one、um, we usually see. This one. It's called、uh, Indian Golden Orelos. Indian Golden Orelos. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the picture inspired inspired me. See this one. I find a picture. This one, they are he's he's looking down. It's on a tree, so I put instead I put on the bamboo, and this is the one. And of course, I changed、uh, a little bit like position.、Uh, I just feel like it's more、um, more interesting if you do like that. This is a little bit still. Okay, and this one, they lift it up a little bit, and this one, exactly this one. Look, see, same. So this is how I,、um, how I start. The background is I just、uh, I didn't follow the I didn't copy the picture exactly, but、uh, I just、uh, look the position, the posture, the structure of the bird. It's give me a good reference. Look here, I even、um, copy the details. Like there's some yellow hair. Oh, sorry, yellow feather, right here, yellow feather. Okay. So I'm putting my phone away, and also I'm going to put uh, this uh, reference, the sketch, in front of the fan. So、uh, I'm start. I'm going to start.、Um, this is color I used.、Uh, The day before yesterday,、um, didn't finish, so I will continue use this one. So I like to、uh, do the the main object first because other thing just background. It could be、um, at the back. So、uh, I will use a pencil. Use a pencil as a、uh, use a pencil as、uh, um, how do you see? Just、uh, to locate where the thing is, very very light. Okay, don't draw very hard, and because、um, you see、uh, it's totally different size. And I can't copy this one exactly onto that one, so I can just only have an idea where the thing、uh, is about, just about where the thing is. So I still need、uh, to locate. So one put one bird here, and one bird here. Just like this. Okay, I just、uh, finished the, the sketch of this bird. I'm going to put、uh, the reference here aside, so it's easy to do it. I'm going to choose some brushes. 
because the object is very small. So most probably I will use all my uh, small brush. I will um, prepare about uh, three of them. And if not enough, I will add up. But uh, I think the image it should be enough. Um, so three of them here. And uh, open my ink. Open up my ink and I'm going to use uh, this one, this brush. Three of them basically is the same, uh, the same size. I need uh, another paper towel. Here, get a paper towel. Mm, don't want too much water, right? So get some lighter ink. And uh, it's about like that. And uh, I'm going to uh, start with the peak. I like to start with peak. So Okay. This is the center, and uh, another one. All right, and the, the eye here. Open up the brush. I'm drawing very slow because um, the outline just a um, very simple outline. So. When I do the details, basically, uh, I'm just uh, doing outline, the shape, and the painting at the same time. So that's why it's very slow, little by little. Today is the first class of fence painting. I know there might be not very details. You might be have lots of questions is what tool you are using and how do you set it up and uh, all sorts of questions. I will answer you at next class because this won't be The only one of fans painting because summer is is here and it's very hot. A lot of people using, I mean, it's not a lot of people using fans, but it's a good timing to to give fan of a gift or for selling. It's just good time. So for the next a while I'm going to draw more fans. This is not going to be the only one. So every time I will tell you a little bit more 
uh, details about the fence painting. Uh, let's just uh, do it slowly, okay? Now I'm just uh, doing the details, the feather. The exactly, I'm doing the wing right now. So this is the flying, flying feather. It's the longest one of the bird. Some other feather. Okay. And a uh, couple more line here. Because the size of this painting, uh, there will be some details I I dropped. Because you just don't have enough um, space to working on so much details as that one. Um, it's better uh, you you sketch have more details than less because then you can choose to drop some details. But if you want to add more, you have to go back to the uh, the picture to um, discover more details to add on. And this way is just much easier. I can right away, I can decide which details I'm going to drop. And they just uh, easier for me to working on. And I will, of course, I will carefully uh, protect this sketch because this one is actually a painting. I could sell it, I could uh, frame it and give to someone. It just, uh, it's, it's not a, like a garbage, right? It's uh, actually painting. So I'm going to add a little bit more details. This technique is open brush right now. You can see the brush is open. Open brush. Uh, I've been introduced to this uh, technique in my other classes. Mm. Open brush for the texture of the feather here. And uh, I'm going to do the feet. There are so many details I can explain right here because um, this is uh, give you a hint of how I draw the fence. I'm not going to uh, give you too much details about uh, the structure of the feed, how to do the paint feed stuff. Um, the idea of this class is uh, show you the process and uh, also have a little bit of hint of how to draw a bird but uh, it's 
not really about how to draw a bird. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, it's about to finish. I'm going to add uh, more dark color on the dark part. Also uh, fix up the shape a little bit more. Summer and uh, it's getting really hot. It's almost 37 degree, and my hand is a little bit swollen. I can feel the stiffness of my hand. It's really hot. All right, um, I'm going to add the, the black parts here. Here. All right. There's uh, some different of the paper. Usually, uh, the the art, the painting I'm drawing before, like most of uh, you know, I have about a hundred videos in my channel. And I would say all of them was painted on the paper, which is the raw paper. It's a uh, Chinese name is called Shenxuan. And this is the first time, I would say the first time I'm drawing it on half raw paper. This paper is uh, semi raw, half raw. And uh, if you don't know the difference, you can um, have a look about uh, the Chinese brush painting for beginners section. And there I, about the tools, I introduced the different type of paper. And this one is um, half raw. That's why it won't, uh, I would say, it won't bleed so much. In a simple way is I don't I could use more water. It's uh, close to the uh, Western water paper. You can even wash it. Use water to wash it, and it won't bleed so much. Now I'm finish this part. I'm going to to here now. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm done with this bird and I'm going to move to the next bird, which is right here. I have to move my work side a little bit um, so it's easier for me to work on this one. I'm going to put it here. Uh, same thing, I could use, start with the 
uh, the peak, which is also called mouth. Because it's bird, so it's called peak. Mm, okay, you can still see it. Um, it's not really flat because I just set it up yesterday. If I set it longer, it's going to be more flat. But still, it's not that perfect. But still, I can work on it. I'm going to adjust my sketch paper. It's easier for me to see. Alright, it's about like that. Open the brush and get some texture. and uh, use a little bit of lighter ink and draw this part head here The shoulder here with another Back to the wing.
part. Flying feather. This one could get a small feather here. some lighter color and open the brush There's some smoke here on the leg here. Okay, this is uh, here on the leg here, and back to the dark ink. I'm going to get uh, the feet ready. It's about I'm um, I'm drawing and compare to this bird at the same time because you know um, I want them the similar size. I don't want a uh, wise too big one too small. It's uh, obviously uh, they're going to be a little bit different. One may be um, smaller than smaller than the other one, but uh, overall they are about the same size. The toe, like that. It's about like that. Okay, and there's some texture. There's some texture here. All right, and uh, I'm going to fix the here. You see, too short, too, too much difference. So I'm going to make it longer. Space. Make it a little bit flat on the head. All right, and uh, add uh, more ink right here. Mm -hmm. Right, and the bird it's uh, almost ready I'm just uh, checking out with any uh, details I'm missing I will add more details uh, later on but right now what I want to do is uh, um, get the, the yellow color on the bird 
So I'm getting some yellow right here. Um, because it's been several days old and also it's very uh, hot the color is really dry mm, I need to uh, use a little bit longer time to wrap the color off now it's good I'm going to add in the color I'm going to start with this one one start with the head Open the brush so I can give some texture to the feather. While I'm painting, I just feel like maybe it showed too much here. I will fix it up here later. But right now, I'm going to just do like this into the I will definitely fix that up. It showed too much belly. It just uh, I don't want to. Okay. Okay. Let's on. Okay. this one. Water. All right, it's specifically like this, and then I'm going to get some and uh, red color. You know what? I'm going to leave the red color in the end because I don't really have uh, red color on my face right now. I want to start adding some background because I have a lot of green available right now and I'm going to throw that green color add some water right. I'm put my color here because um, background is here, uh, so it's more. It it's, will help me keep the the painting clean. All right, and I'm going to open up here a little bit because. I want to 
then have a full painting. So one bamboo here. here and one uh, from here and the, the bird is standing there okay mm. I wish it's more flat then it will be easier for me to work on right Filling up the crack a little bit. This is one stock. Second one is under the feet. And usually the second one will be longer than the first one then it will be here okay. filling up the crack a little bit here of course they will not be the exact the same as my sketch I have to change a little bit just because the size all right and I'm going to add uh, some small branch uh, going to add some small branch right here Because it's not that flat, so it won't be the same level. If it's not the same level, there will be some crack. And uh, I'm not worried about that too much because I will fix that. But before I continue more details, I will start with some leaves because I'm creating levels right now. And the leaf color, I will have a level two. I'm starting with the lighter color here and then another layer under this level, I will use darker color. That's my plan is. All right, you can see I add a lot of water. 
So I'm going to start with here. About how to paint bamboo, you could look my Chinese brush painting for beginner class. There's uh, uh, so much details about that part. Here, um, I will not get into too much details. Uh, but you could mm, put some request uh, down below where the comment box is, like uh, which part you really wish to see. I get into more details and uh, which subject you want to learn more. I will try my best to um, help you, all right? Um, welcome to more comments, always. Okay, here, I'm going to add a little bit leaves here. Just because um, I will draw some leaves under the stone, so the bamboo leaf is in front of stone. Uh, that means I have to draw the bamboo first, right? So here, there's some small one, new shoots. And, uh, new shoots, small one. Okay, and now I'm adding more darker color. Now you can see um, I'm mixing in more blue to make the green darker. And uh, I will add more branch under the first layer of leaf. Did you see the difference? Yes. Do you feel the second one? Yes. So I'm going to create created a, a flow here, be here, be here. So I need add more right here and create some flow. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, right here I'm going to add some more branch uh, right now I'm just uh, uh, I'm not exactly looking at my sketch right now because uh, it just uh, doesn't work like you copy the leaf where exactly it is it just don't work like that way mm, right now I'm just uh, uh, have an idea of the, where the flow is that's the only use of my sketch right now and I'm just uh, mm, keep adding adding more adding more uh, branch If you don't know how to organize the group of leaf, uh, you could uh, mm, look online. The keywords will be uh, the group of uh, the group leaf of how do you say bamboo leaf by group. Uh, they will have an uh, example how to group your leaf. Also. Um, if you follow me, I will definitely put more lessons about this group because it's just uh, useful. It is just uh, useful. I don't want to create too much here. I don't want to make uh, um, it's uh, too full, you know what I mean? So it's like um, embraceable. I want to create very um, lots here and less here. Here have some, and uh, this is um, quite full already. I'm going to do the other side a little bit more. Open up my painting, so I'm going to create some flow here. Try to not horizontal, right? And uh, open up a little bit. Um, this is on my way. on my way connect this two no yeah, I some leaf is um, a little bit wider than you know it should it shouldn't be too white because bamboo leaf is very thin but uh, when you draw quick you just can't you, you can't control every detail so um, overall it, it if it's uh, fine it's fine uh, just try to not uh, uh, do too much mistake right Nobody really care um, that one or two. People usually care about the majority.
favorite and I'm going to add a little bit more here so fix the branch first and, uh, good and uh, I need to add uh, you can see this three is a little bit horizontal I need to break up so I need to break up that so which just means I need to add one more here at the back just a little bit lighter color right here yes. one two two different direction a little bit right so break it up break it up then add some small branch maybe here Add some small. Be careful the details right now. Okay? Be careful the details. That's just to make the difference of your painting. I'm pretty happy about overall right now I'm going to add a, a note okay add a note this note you can see half there's some note and here there's a note here there's a note There's a note. <sighs> All right, it's pretty good already. I'm going to add a stone right now here. Don't get, don't get all in one time. They always leave a little space to working on it, right? So I'm going to use the small brush and uh, draw the stone medium dark okay remember the darkest part leave to the details okay don't get the, the dark at the first time right okay. and uh, let me take a break all right see you later